welcome back to this channel and money online the easy way i teach you guys on how to make money online using your phone in today's video today's video is somehow different i'm going to show you how you can be able to make one thousand dollars per month using a blog and an ai uh, i'm going to explain all this later but just stay with me this is a make money online full course tutorial for beginners so if you're a beginner you've never made money online or you've been looking for a way on how to make money online for free this tutorial is for you. It is completely free and it is a full course. Yeah. So we are going to cover this in steps. Step number one, I'm going to show you how you can create a blog and you customize it. You customize the themes, pages, layout, settings. And actually, before we start, I'm going to show you my own blog that I own, that I've been driving traffic to and that I'm, I'm using to make some money. Then later, I'm going to show you how to create content using AI. So if you've never created content before, I'm going to, we are going to cover keyword research, SEO, Cover different things like AI rewriters and all that. Step number three, we are going to look at how to drive traffic to your content. This includes driving traffic from Pinterest, Quora, YouTube Shorts, uh, TikTok. I'm going to show you how to do it the right way and how you can maximize that. In step number four, uh, we are also going to cover uh, connecting a network, yeah, connecting an ads network. For example, connecting Google AdSense to your blog so that you can earn money from adverts being shown on your content. Then in step number five, we are going to cover the bonus tips that you need to know before you start off. So with this knowledge, trust me, with this knowledge, you'll be able to make some money online. So let's begin off by me showing you what I already have. You, um, we are going to design somehow a similar a similar blog like this one. This is my own. And money, uh, it is called Is a Weight Loss Guide. And this blog is all about weight loss uh, products, weight loss tips and everything. You can see it is a good blog. You can see when we come here on contact us, you can see there is a page on contact us that you can go to and you view more content about uh, if you want to send in anything, if you want to write a comment or what. We are going to design all this all this uh, in today's tutorial and I'm going to show you how it is going to be like, uh, I don't know how long it will take, but I want to show you details without skipping anything. If you come here on, uh, on about us, you'll see that there is also an about us page which describes exactly what this uh, what this blog is all about and how it came about. So we are going to design all this. If we come back to home, if I click here or I click on home and we go back to home, you'll see that if you click on any of these, these are blogs articles that have been ranking. You know, it has been running since 2021. I've been having this blog and I used to, I created this blog using just my phone. So what I'm going to show you works on the phone. I created this blog before even I bought a PC. Yeah. And there are affiliate links to this blog. You can, I'm going to show you how you can add all that and you earn affiliate money from affiliate marketing. So this is, for example, a product of Xpure. It's an affiliate product. Okay, now Flat Tonic, I was promoting all this. And I'm going to show you how you can create your own blog for free and you start making money online. So with that said, the first step will be the first step will be, let's go back to step number one. The first step will be creating a blog. Yeah, creating a blog and you customize it. So we are going to go ahead and create a blog. Now to create a blog, the best platform which I have so far used, which I know very well is blogger.com. So you'll go ahead and, and you search blogger.com on your, on your phone or PC. If you're using a phone, make sure you put it in, uh, in desktop mode. Make sure if you're using a phone, put it in desktop mode. So uh, we are going to go ahead and search blogger.com you can go to uh, google and search blogger.com blogger.com it is here blogger.com when you search it it will bring results so click on the first one now we've started the whole step please follow me up step by step until we finish this together if you don't if you don't follow through somehow you will miss fire and maybe things won't work out for you so when you go to blogger.com you can see already have an account but let me uh, for you, it, you will go ahead and create an account. Let me show you how to create an account. Let me sign out from all. Let me sign out from all. After signing out from all, then I will go back to blogger.com because that's where we shall create our account from. So let me go ahead and search blogger.com. So for you, it will be like this. And after, after getting to blogger, yours will appear like this. Okay. Yours will be like this. Yeah. When you search blogger.com, your page will come like this. If you have no, uh, if you have no account with blogger.com, what you're going to do is to come and sign in here. Yeah, you can sign in using uh, using anything using your your Gmail account. That's that's the one required. You sign in using your Gmail account. 
because you'll be told to choose an account now you sign in into your account for example you can see i've signed out from all these but i can use some other account that is not affiliated to blogger so that i show you we start this from scratch so after signing in it will present you with this page yeah after signing in it will present you with this page where you're supposed to write the title of your blog so in this case let me assume for example you've sat down and you want to start a blog maybe about sports or maybe you want to start a blog about maybe weight loss or maybe home remedies or whichever whichever interests you because you have to first choose which which field you will go into if it is sports go ahead if you like sports go ahead and make a blog about sports if you like religious things go ahead and write a start a blog about religion if you want uh, maybe if you if you want a blog about maybe weight loss in this case me i'll go with weight loss so i'll name my blog as maybe as you saw the other one is called is a weight loss guide I'm going to do to name the same this one, but I'm going to delete it after just for demonstration purposes. So I'll name mine maybe uh, uh, weight management. Maybe I'll name it weight management. Then I'll click on next. So here I'll give it an address. An address will be this one here. This one that appears here. This one is the address of my for example, my blog on the internet. So this is my blog right now is com called complebodyfixedguide.blogspot.com. So here, which means your address here will be maybe weightmanagement.blogspot.com in small letters without space. Yeah, without space. Wait. So here you have to make sure you continue adjusting the names until here down you, you see that it is available. Okay. So you can see uh, I've put in weightexercise.blogspot.com and they've, they've told me it is now available. This blog address is available. So after getting what is available, the blog address will be like your, your URL that will be displayed here up here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and place on next. The display name, I'll put weight management. Weight management tips, that will be the display name or the name like this one which is going to be displayed here. Yeah, so that is what they are meaning. So in this case, I'm going to put weight management tips and I finish. So for a fact, you've created your blog, but your blog, if we can come here down and we say on view blog, this is how it is going to be looking right now after creating it. You can see it is called weight management and there is nothing on the blog. It is not, it is not as cool as this one. So we're going to customize it now after We've created the blog, now we have to customize it. So how are we going to customize it? We come back to here, then we go here down, we first choose a theme. A theme is going to dictate on how your blog will be uh, looking outside. So in this case, I would like uh, this, this uh, there is a, th a theme which is good. Let me look for it. This theme here looks good. It is called light, if you can see it down. So this theme is really good if you use it. So you're going to say apply. We click on it and we say apply. So this theme has been applied. So if we come back here and we refresh, we'll see that it has changed. Let's see how it is going to look like. So this is how it is going to look like, okay? It is now white in the background and everything. There is nothing, but we see we are, st we are still customizing it. So we are, what we are going to do is to come back here. Let's first create some pages. We can come here on the side menu. On the phone, you will click on these three lines they'll bring this th side menu. If you're not seeing it right now on your phone, you click on these three lines in the, in the corner, they'll bring this side menu. So here we click on pages. Let's first add some pages. We add the page, uh, we add, for the first page should be, we create a new here. After clicking on pages, come back and create, click on a new page. So let's name this page home. Let's name it home and we leave it free. We publish. Confirm. After publishing, go home. You can see the page has been created here down. Yeah, let me dismiss this. You can see the page down has been created. This one here. Let's create another page. Maybe of about us. Let's publish. Don't worry, we shall add the content later about these pages. We shall add the content later. So we also create another page called 
uh, contact us here. Yeah? Shall create another page called contact us. We also publish, confirm. Before we continue, if you're liking this content already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and turn on all notifications. Then also subscribe to Dixon Hustles because that is where I put all the free content for making money online step by step. Like this one, this video we just made here, I post them on Dixon Hustles, step by step videos. Go ahead and subscribe to Dixon Hustles so that you don't miss out on any of the step by step videos for making money online without investing. That said, let's get back into the video. Now that you've finished uh, publishing your three pages, if you come back to the front end, it is, they are not showing. Just remember that you've created the pages, but here they are not showing anywhere. So don't worry about this. If you come here and you see they are not showing anywhere, don't worry about this because we are still customizing it. We are still customizing and we shall bring these pages to be shown up here on the menu. So don't worry, let's continue doing this. So after creating your three pages, we come here on layout. I'm going to show you. Let's come on layout. When we come on layout, this is where you, uh, you design how your website wants, you want your website to look like to, to the people who are, visiting it, who are visiting it. So here you can see on the header, we have the, the header, which is the, this one, weight management. You can see when it here, it is shown, weight management. And we come back here on the side menu. On the side menu, we have about me, blog archive, labels, and if you come here on the side menu, you will see there is that section about me. Uh, these uh, uh, report abuse and everything, it is here. So we are going to customize it. We are going to remove some. For example, you can remove uh, you can remove report, uh, report abuse. If, if you see this button here of the eye uh, not being crossed, yeah, you may, you know, if it is like this, it is not showing. But if it is like this, means that that, that button is showing. So let's first remove this report abuse. You click on that uh, that pencil icon, you remove it and save. Uh, about me, uh, let's also remove it. So now what we are going to do, we are going to come here on add a gadget. Yeah, this is where we are going to click add a gadget. Remember, we are customizing our blog. So we are going to click here on this HTML. And you're going to write this code here. Leave the title. Don't write anything here on the title. Come here down where it says content and write this short code there. You write it the way I've written it or use the code in the description. Use that code in the description. Then customize it according on how I'm going to show you how to customize it. Okay. In short, we are trying to create a menu. So if we come here and save, then you can see it is now in the side menu. If we come back to here and we also save here again, we save again here down, you'll see that if we come back here in the front end, let it save, let it first save. Yeah, if we come here on the front end and we refresh this, we refresh it, here you'll see nothing happening. But if you come here on the side menu, you'll see we have the home about us and contact us page. But remember, we want this, we want this, this section here to appear here on the main front, front end. So what we are going to do is to come and drag this JavaScript that we've just created. We drag it here. Actually, let me first put it back. Let me do like this. So we want to drag it here, here, here. Minute after the title, we drag it here. It should be here. So what we are going to do is to bring it. We drag it and we put it here. So if we save again, remember we are trying to customize our blog. If we save again, and then we come back here, and then refresh, you will see that now the home button, the about us page, and the contact us page, they appear here on the main menu, but there is no content yet. So we have to add content to these pages. So what you're going to do is to come to code the contact us page uh, and the about us page and we add some content. Well, how we are going to do that is to go up here. For example, on the about us page, we can go to another, uh, we can go to another uh, AI software that we are going to use often in this, in this tutorial called ChatGPT. But if you don't know about ChatGPT, ChatGPT is a software or it is an AI, artificial intelligence software that can create for you anything. So what you're going to do 
is to go to your browser, you go to your Google and type in chat GPT, chat GPT, and you create an account, okay? Create, is go to chat GPT, it is here. What you're going to do is click on it. Then after clicking on it, you'll be prompted to create an account if you want to use it, yeah? You'll be, you'll be prompted to create an account. Or you can use the link that is in description. You can go to chat. Dot, yeah. You can go to chat.openai.com. Like this one here. Let me put it here. Chat.openai. Openai.com slash chat. Okay. That is the URL that will take you to the login page or to the uh, signing, uh, creating an account. Me already have an account, that's why it is taking me direct to my account. But for you, it will take you to where you can create your own account. After creating your own account, now it will inside it will look like this one here. Yeah. So now you can ask ChatGPT to do anything for you. For example, let's ChatGPT to write for us uh, an about section. Yeah. Let's let's ask ChatGPT to write for us an about us page. Yeah. Write us an about us section. Let me let me put it here. Yeah, write for me an about us section for a blog website called Weight Management, which is all about. So you explain what exactly you want it to write for you, which is all about weight loss tips. So this chat GPT will understand what you've told it to write for you. So it is going to go ahead and write for you an about us section, which you can go ahead and post on your about us page in your on your website or on your blog. So that is exactly what it is doing right now. So we are going to copy what it is going to write for us. We copy it, then we take it and paste it on our website. Yeah, on our about us page on our website. So exactly, it has it has already finished. Welcome to our website. Everything. So you will read through. If you see it is convincing enough, you just copy it, or you can edit it if you want. Copy it. Now you got your uh to your to your website. You got pages your blog you got pages you got about us and then you paste this one here yeah about us and this is all you have this is what it has written for you so it is that easy guys it is that easy so here we need an image we need a featured image for example if i come back to here on my about us section you're going to see that on our about us we have a list an image which is appealing let lot, but you see that I have there an image that is appealing, that is somehow trying to portray what exactly my website is all about. So what you're going to do, yeah, you can see this image. What you're going to do is to go, how do you get these free images? You go to Pixabay, Pixabay or Pixels. You got Pixels, I usually use Pixels, Pixels.com. So from Pixels.com, you can download unlimited free images. You can just put in what you want to download and you'll download these images. After downloading them, then I'm going to show you how you can do it. Let it load first. So this is pexels.com. What I can do, I can come here, back here and I put weight, weight management, management, yeah? And I hit search. So Pexels is going to give me a list of free, free photos that I can use uh, that are related to weight management. So from this, you can see these all are photos that I can use on my website. But what I want to do is come here on filters and I want the ones that are in landscape mode. So I'll go here and click on horizontal on pictures that appear in a horizontal mode. And it is going to filter out and show me only those. So from this, you can see it is showing me relevant pictures that are related to my input that I've just put in. For example, I can use this image here. I just download it. After downloading it, it goes to my computer on my phone. So now what I'm going to do is to come back here after the, after it has downloaded. I go back to my after it has downloaded. I go back to my blog and I upload it on my about us section. For example, it has just downloaded. Now I'll come back here to the back end and I come back here where I want the image to appear. If you want it to appear here down, you can put just put it there. If you want it to appear here up, it is the same. Then you click on this icon which says image, insert image. Then you upload from your computer or from your phone. It is the same thing. If it says computer but you are using a phone, don't say I don't have a computer. Just go ahead and proceed. 
choose choose files here now i'll choose where it is and i just upload it for example it is here so it has uploaded i select it and click here on select you can see it is appearing here what i'll go ahead and do here down here on this icon here i'll go ahead and make choose this one choose this size which is extra large so that it covers the whole page you understand then here you go up and update now if we come back to the back end and we click on about us it hasn't appeared because we haven't linked the about us page to this to this uh, to this menu so but we are going to do that still then we go back to the conductors page we have first add some things so here we have updated let's go back now we want to update also the conductors page now to update the conductors page you're going to use what we call google forms okay you're going to use what we call google forms go back to your google and type in google forms google forms it is here then click on this one which says google forms yeah or this first one any of these can work let me go to forms so it will directly send you into your account if you have an account that you're already using on google chrome just sign you into your account so you'll see there are many forms that are here you can create a contact us form this form party invitation form t-shirt sign up form or you can create your own form but what i would like you to use you use this one contact information form click on it then you just edit it a few here and there after editing it then you can just upload it on the other section once again guys subscribe to dixon hustles because that is where i post such free content i've just made this video here to let you know of this other channel dixon hustles that is available where i post all the free videos on how to make money online without investing this channel and money online the easy way is for investment platforms that i show you on a daily basis but this one is for platforms where you don't invest anything go ahead and subscribe so in this case it will open this contact this is the contact information so here you want to to put the name of your contact in this pair in this case let me put contact us let me name it contact us then here there are sections that you have to either remove or add in this case i don't want this section so i'll just click on it and i delete i click on it and delete i also don't want the phone number i click on it and delete uh, the email and the comments that, that that's okay so it will be showing name email and con name email then also the comment so what i'll do after editing it and i see it is really well i click here on send after clicking on send now i click here to generate a short code then i'll just copy this short code copy then i come back to my back end i got the contactors form i click on it it will open after opening now i come here on this pencil icon I have switched to HTML view, then I paste my HTML. Don't remove anything, just paste Control V, then update. So after updating, your page will later show once we have connected everything. So what we are going to do is to connect these pages to to, uh, to make sure they display what what they are meant to display. For example, let's first click on View Blog. So in short, this is how our blog looks like, okay? This is how our blog looks like. So what we are going to do, we want to connect this, this main page to the home page. So what we are going to do is to come and copy this URL. Can you follow through very well? Copy this URL, Control C. Now come back to your back end. Go back to your layout here. After copying it, go back to layout because that's where we set everything from. Go back to your layout. Come back to your JavaScript that you wrote earlier, remember? Click on edit. Now remember you had put in this short code. So come come here in between these uh these signs that you had put in the middle here. Yeah. Then control V, paste everything. For example, the home button will take you to this. That's why you first created this short code. So you'll do the same before you save. You'll do the same for other pages. Yeah. You do the same for other pages. Let's first save here. Save go back to pages for example open this one click on here on view here this eye icon view it will open in a new page go back here also uh the about us uh, this is the about us then 
uh, the contactor still open view. So you've opened the contactors by taking you to, uh, as you can see, by the way, the contactor, since we linked it, you can see it is, you can see it is, it is, it is doing what? It is showing, yeah? This is the contactors, the about us, let me see the about us, where it is showing. See, it is showing the contactors. So we have to edit it, we have to modify it until it shows what we want to see, okay? So when we come to the contactors page, remember we have already linked the home page because if we click here on the home page, you'll see it is taking us to the, to the main page. But these other pages, they are not taking us to where we want them to take us, okay? If you open the about us page, you'll see here in the URL, it is showing about us.html. So what you're going to do, go ahead and copy the whole of this, this link, copy it, go back to your back end and go to, go back to layout, click on layout, go back to this JavaScript code, Remember we copied the about us, is it the about us or the conduct us? It was the about us, I think. We copied the about us page, so that's what we want to link. So we come back here where it says conduct us, about us. These double brackets that you had put, the inverted commas, yeah, that you have put, go back in the middle there, paste that URL. As you can see, there is this code from here to here, it is going to be showing the about us page, yeah? From here to actually here, it is going to be showing the about us page. I don't know whether you're, you're getting this. If you're not getting it, please rewatch this video, please rewatch it, okay? So let's go back to the contact us page still. We also copy this URL on contact us page, copy it, bring it here on the contact us page and paste and then save. After saving, come also here down and save. So we've saved our settings. After saving the settings, now they are going to be applied. If we come back here on our blog and we refresh, let's refresh. After refreshing then here on About Us, you'll see that we have an About Us section that is showing. You can see this, yeah? Uh -huh. Then on the Contact Us, we also have a Contact Us form that someone can fill. After filling it, then they submit it so that they, after feeding it, they put in their email here, their name, their email, the comment they have, then they submit. After submitting, you on the back end, you'll be seeing what they are submitting to you. So you can see how we are starting to customize it very well. What you're going to also do is to write a blog article. Now we are going to step number two. We, are string, we have customized it. We have put the pages. We have, put the, we have chosen our theme. We have chosen our menu. We have put the menu, but we have no content on our website, on our blog. So the next thing is to create content. Yeah. And in creating content, as we can see from here, remember now we have gone to step two. And step number two, oh Jesus, it has gone back. So now we are heading to step number two, where we're going to create content using AI. And here we are first going to do keyword research. Then we do SEO and we write we use article rewriters and the likes. So how do you create content? So in short, we finished uh we finished the first section which is create, uh, customizing themes, pages, layout, and settings. But in settings, what I forgot to show you, here in settings, if you come here down on settings, you have to make sure the blog you're writing is accessible to search engines, yeah? This one, visible to search engine. This one should be turned on, okay? Should be turned on. So after finishing the first step, we got the second step, which is creating content using AI. And in creating content, we are going to cover keyword research, SEO, and then how to create content and using article rewriters. So what you're going to do is to go to a tool called hsupertools.com, okay? hsupertools.com, h-supertools.com. If we come here, let's say we want to write an article about maybe how to lose weight at home. We want to first see if we wrote this article, really, will it rank or is there any person searching for this same uh, same article to write to read about how to lose weight at home? So that's why we want to do keyword research. We want to know if we want to write about something. Will we get a chance that people around the world are searching for this item we want to write about? If we, if we are writing, if it's true that people are searching about it, is the keyword very competitive? Are we if we write content about it, are we going to rank on in Google? Or the keyword is so so competitive that other companies, other big 
big websites have written about it and there is no chance for us to rank in such results. That's why we do keyword research, okay? So we are going to come here on SEO. That is, if you're using HSPATOS, come to SEO, come here on keyword research tool, click there. So here down is going to tell you, enter the keyword that you want to research about. In this case, let's, let's maybe uh, enter a keyword like lose weight at home. This is the main keyword that we want to rank for, okay? Lose weight at home, then we click on search. Now, this H super tools, uh, it will give us, uh, it will show us how many people are searching for it every month and what is the competition for, to, for us if we want to rank, if we were to rank for this keyword in, in search engines like Google. How is it competitive? Is the competition so high or it is low? Yeah. So we are going to see it is being searched by 2,000 people every month, almost 2,000 people every month. The competition is high. So we can find related keywords. Okay, we can find related keywords. Keep adjusting to see whether you can uh, get what you really want. So you can see here still the competition is high. Competition is high. Competition is high. So it is very hard for us as a new blog to rank for this keyword. Rather, you can keep on adjusting the keyword until you find what is what is really best for you. So for example, you can see this keyword here, lose weight calculator is being searched for by 90,000 people and the competition is low, which means if we wrote an article about this, it would be easy for us to rank in search engines, okay? What you're going to do after finding your target keyword, now come to, come to chat GPT and tell it right for you. So we are going to tell, we are going to tell, tell chat GPT to write for us 10 blog, uh, 10 blog article ideas, write for me, 10 blog article ideas about, then we open brackets, uh, lose weight calculator. So it is going to go ahead and write for us something around 10 topics that we can choose from and we write our content to start with. So you can see within just a few seconds, ChatGPT has generated for us 10 topics that we can start writing content about. So what we are going to do is now to tell ChatGPT to generate for us, because you know, we want to write SEO friendly. SEO means search engine optimization. We want to make sure our content is right for search engines so that they can discover it. For example, what do I mean by search engines? I mean, for example, if I want to write about white t-shirts, I should make sure that when Google searches through my content that I've written, it says that the white, the word white sheet, white t-shirts appears more times so that it knows that my content is all about white t-shirts. So in the same manner, I'm going to tell ChatGPT to write for me an outline of one of the topics it has just given me up there, an SEO friendly outline, so that I can follow this outline to write my content. And by the way, I'm not going to write any content. I'm also going to tell it to go ahead and write content for me. So I'll just copy one of the uh, one of the topics it has just given me. Then I tell it to write for me an SEO friendly outline about this topic. So I put the topic in inverted commas. Yeah, it goes ahead to generate the content within just a few seconds. It has given you the outline. And by the way, you don't have to do anything. What you have to do next is to tell ChatGPT to go ahead and generate for you content basing on the above outline. Here you should be specific. Tell ChatGPT to write for you an original but SEO friendly article basing on the outline it has just given you. It will go ahead and generate for you the content. You don't have to write any single any single piece of uh, content. However, this content, when you post it on your on your blog or on your website, these search engines such as Google, they'll be able to identify it as bot-generated content. So what we need to do here is to go ahead and rewrite it using another article rewriter. But before you go there, you can see this article is so short. 
and from my previous experience long articles tend to perform better so what you can do is to tell chat gpt to generate for you uh, sections of this blog one by one for example you can say write for me the introduction section of the above article i've been i've been showing you or write for me an introduction for the article titled then i put the title of the of the article i want to write in inverted commas so it will go ahead and generate for me content basing on that piece of uh, that piece of uh, outline i've just given it i'll tell it to follow strategic for example you can just copy the whole first section of introduction you put it there then it will go ahead and and, and do that for you by doing that by uh, by telling ChatGPT to generate for you sections of that piece of uh, piece of information, you'll be able to generate long form content. For example, let me show you the content that I generated previously using ChatGPT by doing sections. So you can see this is a long form article of about three thousand eight hundred words, and I generated it using ChatGPT using the method that I've just told you to tell ChatGPT to generate for me these these sections one by one. For example, you can tell ChatGPT generate for me an introduction. Basing on the recommendations you've given me up there, generate for me an introduction to this blog topic idea or to this blog topic. You give it the blog topic, then for it to go out go and generate for you the introduction. Then what you can do is to copy it. After it has given everything, copy it. Search for article rewriter as I've just shown you on the screen. Click on the, I think this one, article rewriter tool. When you click on it, Go ahead and paste what you've copied from ChatGPT because you want to, re to rewrite this. Otherwise, when you just paste it on you onto your blog, these search engines will understand that this was generated by a bot and they may uh, the article may not rank. So you have to rewrite it. Go ahead and copy it. After copying it, take it to the article rewriter tool. Then the article writer you will use it to rephrase these some of these words. So put it there. Then uh, ask it to do basic rephrasing yeah basic paraphrasing so it will create another copy which is almost similar but using somehow different words so that even google won't understand that this was generated by a bot so what we need to do is just to copy this section now the content that we have just the paraphrased content we are going to just copy it and we take it that is that is what we are going to post on our blog okay so copy it by placing here copy after copying it, uh, let's copy. We, after, cop after we've copied it, we are going to go back to our blogger and we are going to create our first post. Now, there are some important things that you have to understand here. We go to uh, our blog and we create a new post. Then we put in the title, which we, which we told ChatGPT to generate for us. In this case, it was uh, loss, weight loss calculator. How to use a weight loss calculator for... If it is here, how to use a weight loss calculator to set realistic goals. So this is our blog. Uh, this is our topic that we want to write about in this in this what in this article. So we put the topic here in the title, paste it there. Let me first change back this to uh, compose view from HTML. So now we copy what we've paraphrased from this paraphraser here, article writer tool. We copy this. We bring it back. And we and we post it here on our here in this section where we are supposed to write post it there. Then what you're going to do is to edit it to make sure it is readable enough. Remove the grammar mistakes and everything. You can use Grammarly to do that if you're on PC. Even if you're on phone, you can use Grammarly. And then if you're not on PC, you can go ahead and uh, do it manually. So we need a featured image, and we've seen how you can add an image before. We want to put it here. So we come here after downloading it from Pixels. We uh, we get it from our uh, our computer. The picture is around here. Yet it's upload. We select it. So a featured image is important. It is important so that your content up there, when someone sees that your content very fast, he knows what your content is already about. Even such engines, it helps such engines, it helps you rank higher in such engines. So you can add as as many images as possible, but not so many. You can add maybe uh, three or three to five images in your article so that it, it is appealing. Then it, your article also has to have subheadings. And remember, we told ChatGPT to generate for us an outline. So this outline includes the subheadings. For example, this one, understanding your basal metabolic rate is a subheading so we are going to copy it and you will read through see where it is applicable see where you should put it after putting it there let me paste it here 
in this case i see it was it was fitting in here let me paste it then after pasting it make sure you make it a heading if there are any other subheadings uh, in between there you can also include other subheadings but in this case you will highlight it come here up where it says paragraph change it to a heading yeah because this is a heading of a certain block section so this is also important for seo as i've told you seo is search engine optimization by the way i teach all this in the full course of around 19 hours i have a full course of around 19 hours it is about affiliate marketing and developing your own websites in that course i teach more of getting your own domain name and everything not hosting not hosting on a third party like this one so after you've done all, go ahead and publish. If you want to go ahead and learn affiliate marketing from me personally, I'll leave a link to the affiliate marketing course in the description. So if we can go ahead and now look at our blog again, you'll see that if we, if we reload this on the home button, you'll see that now we have published our first article. Yeah. So we published our first article. But this doesn't stop there. We have to get traffic or we have to get people to see this this what this article even though we write many articles as possible but as long as they are not being seen we are not making any progress okay so the next step after writing your article after maybe you're publishing every uh, every two uh, two times a week or oh, since you since you're doing all this with with ai you can even publish five articles per week maybe on monday one tuesday thursday but the most important thing is to make sure you're consistent okay so we've done all this. This is the article that we've see, we've seen. You can see it is zero views, so no one has seen it. So the next part where we are going, it is step number three, is to get traffic, is to drive traffic to our article, to drive to make sure people see our article. And how are we going to do that? We are going to use Quora. Yeah, Quora.com. Quora is Q U O R A dot com. Quora is a platform where people come and ask real questions, expecting real answers. So if you're someone who can solve issues to these people, for example, if I put in maybe a topic like weight loss, and I will sort out, I will sort out this topic by maybe the questions asked about weight loss. Then put in the topic weight loss. I hit search. When I hit search, it is going to show me results. But here I want to filter by questions. So I want to see questions that have been asked about weight loss. Then here down, I want to filter. Uh, where it says by time here down on the side menu, I want to filter for this month. I want to see questions that have been asked in this month. So you can see this is one of the questions that have been asked. This is another one. And you can see it has 62 answers, 4 answers. It's being followed by 4 people. How many people? So these people who follow these questions... They'll go ahead and read through the answers that have been provided and you never know we can convert them to come to our website to read more. So I'll just copy this question since I don't have time to answer this. I take the question, I put it into ChatGPT. I ask ChatGPT, I, I just paste the question there. Then ChatGPT will give me a reply depending on the question I've given it. So let it load the reply. After loading the reply, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this reply, take it to Quora as an answer. You get? So... The other person is asking a question. I'm putting the question in Quora. Quora is generating me an answer. Then I'll just copy the answer and I take it to Quora. Uh, are we clear? Quora, I've got the question from Quora. I put it in ChatGPT. ChatGPT gives me the answer. I get the answer. I take it back to Quora. Now maybe here what is different, What I, how I will be able to benefit from this answer is for me to go ahead and type in maybe I read about maybe how you can use a weight loss calculator to make uh, to, to generate realistic goals. So I can say about something which is related with my topic that I wrote about on my blog uh, on my blog. Then I will make sure I get a link from my blog, then link it here. You go, you're going to see how I'm going to do it. So I read about using a weight loss calculator to set realistic weight loss goals, and it helped me. Uh, then here you can maybe say you will get, uh, you will get helped by reading, but you'll get helped by reading it too. So I'm giving a reply to this person's question. But still, I'm trying to recommend something that I read. So in this case, you're recommending your own article. So go ahead and open your article that you've just written. After, after opening it, then you'll go up there and copy the URL for this article. In the case, the URL is this one that I'm just copying right now. You copy it, Control c or, or you copy. After copying it, you come back here and you look for a certain section of your answer and you link it. So this is how you insert a link. You highlight after highlighting. 
if you're on phone, this menu I'm just going to that this menu that has just appeared will be on top. But if you're on PC, this is how it is going to appear. So you link, put the link there, you add and post. If you've not understood this, please rewatch this step. After posting your answer, your answer will appear like this one, which is coming. Your answer will be like this. So this will be your answer to the question. And here down, you will have put your link. Yeah. This whenever someone opens this link, it will take him to your what? To your article. Now, some of you, I believe, you're asking yourself, but does this method really work? To prove you that this method works, I'm going to log back into my account, my Quora account. After logging to my Quora account, I'm going to go to statistics. I wanted to show you statistics. Let me go back to Quora. And I want to show you statistics from my own dashboard, my own account. Yeah. If I click here, let me click here. You can see people will be uh, people whenever someone clicks on your link, they will be taken to your article and they can read through if maybe that is driving traffic. And I'm going to show you why you should drive traffic because it is important for maybe uh, getting an ads account and something like that. Anyway, so the next thing you can do, the next thing you can do is to go ahead and create a video. Yeah, you create a video using maybe in video, you turn your text that you've written in, in, in chat GPT, you turn it to video, text to video. So you can use in video, in video is another great app that you can use to generate these videos. In video, uh, it can change your text into a video. So what you'll do, make sure you, you choose the portrait mode because you want to use YouTube shorts and also you want to post these videos on TikTok and you know TikTok uses the portrait mode. Choose your template here on in video. Choose a template. After choosing a template, you'll go ahead and copy your content which you want to be changed into a video. In this case, we want to change our blog topic or some section. You don't need to copy everything, but you can copy a section of your blog, your blog article that you've written about. And then you take it in video. Then you choose a template. Here down, you'll select the template. Make sure you, you've selected portrait mode. Then select the template. After selecting the template, it will tell you to enter the script which you want to be translated into a video. In this case, you put the script there. In video, what it will do, it will read through your script and see which related images and videos it can link to your script so that it generates for you a video, a, maybe a one-minute video, a five-minute video, depending on how much words you put there. So this video, you can post it on your TikTok on your uh you can post it on your youtube shorts so that you get people to to see your video when they see your video then you can leave a link to your article in the description so that they can so what you can do when you're creating these shorts you can just create a small uh, a small section of your of your article you create it into a video then now you tell people if they want to read everything they should click the link and read and go to your article i was proving to you that these things work if you can see here my statistics in quora I've got so far 41 views in the last 30 days and I last posted on Quora like six months back. I've never posted on Quora. Yeah, I had been using this method like six months back. And you can see it down. Some of my answers were getting 49 views, 1.6K views, 335 views, 13 views. Some of the answers really explore, exploded 1K views. And this number of views, as if you're using the method I've just shown you, some of these views will generate you traffic to your website or to your blog. If I can come here and I show you all time, all time views of my answers, you can see that my answers, let me resume, my answers have been viewed 4,800 times. So you can use all these views to send them to your what? your blog so this method works for those of you who are asking whether it works so anyway i was still saying for those of you who still want to learn affiliate marketing in detail because this is just like an a tip of the iceberg you can use the thirdly it will be a link about affiliate commissions in my in my description you can buy that course at just 35 dollars and you got in you go in depth you get in depth details about affiliate marketing because there are 19 full hours teaching you about affiliate marketing so the next step we can do is create a google ads account or to create uh, is to add an ads account to do that you go back to your uh, dashboard you click on earnings then you click here where it says create a create adsense account that is, you only create the AdSense account, that is if you have already driven driven traffic, enough traffic to your website, because Google AdSense will keep on, will review website to see whether it is receiving enough traffic, whether it, it has enough content for them to place adverts on your, uh, on your content. Once they place adverts on your content, now you can start adding from ads revenue anywhere between $100 to $1,000 per month. Then the tip bonuses is that frequency of posting, you should be at least posting 
minimum like two times a week on your blog then you should also focus on uh, short term goals maybe you say in my first year i want to qualify for google adsense it will keep you motivated keep you going this is by the this what i'm showing you it is not a get rich quick scheme it is continuous hard work but it pays off okay this hard work pays off so for some of you you know this is where i'll be posting such videos go ahead and subscribe to this channel this one has us still if you've got content from this video please subscribe to this channel turn on notifications give it a like give this video a like so that more people can watch it so that more people can get helped also go ahead and 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 Subscribe to Dixon Assos because this is where I'll be posting such content, such free methods to use to, to, to earn money online. I'll be posting them on Dixon Assos. You can see I've been posting on this channel. Maybe you've been not knowing, but you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel and you'll be getting notified whenever I post new content. Okay, so that is it all for today. You can go ahead and start this method that I've just shown you. Maybe in six months time, trust me, you'll be earning anywhere between $100 to $1,000. If you keep on the hard work, if you become consistent, if you don't give up, you'll be able to earn this money. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment.